Gamit bonen adam b'shevach ha'anava he gadol him. So he says, the Bet Levi says, the person has to pay attention to how great the attribute of humility is. He says that when we had the temple, the Gemara Sechet Sota says, when we had the temple, it's very nice that we brought uh, sacrifices, right? It's a big reward, it's a big kapara, a big atonement. He says, but the Gemara says, Mi shvela, somebody who's humble and he has a low spirit and he's not so meticulous with everybody, not so strict with everybody, he just goes with the flow. The Torah considers it It's as if he gave all the korbanot together in one shot Imagine you gave every korban possible all in one shot That's what you did when you were humble Because the Pasuk says What is a sacrifice? What is an offering to Hashem? A broken spirit Somebody who has their spirit They're willing to get broken They're willing to get stepped on They're quiet when people yell at them They, don't get, they get embarrassed They don't care it's okay. I don't think I'm that great either. I don't think I have to push my will onto others. He says that is the greatest sacrifice. Below, they're not just that. She'en tfilatonim eset. And nim eset. A person's prayer is not thrown away. Hashem is never disgusted by that person's prayer. A person can have sins on his head. He can have reasons why Hashem doesn't want to give him. But because he has humility, Hashem says this is the greatest offering. This is the greatest sacrifice. He is humble. I have to listen to him. I must listen to him. And therefore, his prayer is never thrown away. also tells us, He says, somebody who wants the Torah to stay in him and to remember and to really be a Ben Torah, he has to be somebody who puts himself as if he's nobody. He doesn't go and he, he doesn't act strictly upon other people. He doesn't put other people down. He doesn't fight with them. He just go with the flow and humble. How do we know this? Because it says that the Jewish people traveled in the desert and there were many places where they stopped, right? And it says, Midbar Matana. They went from the place Midbar to Matana. Why do you have to tell us they went from Midbar to Matana? There was plenty of places they went through. Why specifically this you mentioned? Because you have to know, when do you get the Torah as a Matana? When does the person get the, to understand? You know how many people, you know how many people come to Shiur? Rabbi, I didn't understand anything. They just went in and went out. You went to a lecture, you came home. What did the Rabbi speak about? I don't know. Something about Brachot, something about Gemara, Bay, Ravo, I don't even remember. You were there one hour, you don't, you don't remember. It just went in and went out. Why? It's because there's a Gemara, you have to have Zuchut for the Torah to stay inside of you. What's the Zuchut to have the Torah stay inside of you? It says when you make yourself meet Bar, when you make yourself like a desert, the desert everybody steps on, right? It's very humble, there's nothing there, it's nothing special. When you make yourself meet Bar, Matana, you get the Torah as a matana, as a gift. The Torah is going to stay with you. You're going to come home and you're going to say, da 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 and the rabbi said this, and the rabbi said that, and then this is Chidush, and this is Gula, this is, uh, wow, you learned so much. How do you remember? We ask everybody else, they don't remember. Because I'm Anava. I make room for Hashem in my life inside of me, and I don't make myself pushed onto others. That's when Hashem is going to give you the Torah. So therefore, a person has to make sure, make himself humble. That way, it's considered a sacrifice. That way, Hashem will never throw away your prayer. And that way, you'll have the Torah stay inside of you. Baruch Amen, amen.